ambition was to grow a prime crop, sell it, buy a mule, then grow bigger and better crops. Well, one thing, the corn was growing. Season after season, the warm summer wind would come up out of old Mexico and blow its sweet, tempting perfume at Sancho. Yep, Sancho too had grown up. A half a ton of corned beef, thanks to Maria's tortillas. Senorita, if you want to be senora, ven chiquita, let me tell you what to do. Not your money, not your beauty, they don't matter. There is only one thing that will keep your sweetheart true. It's tortilla. It's the way you make tortillas. First, you must grind the corn just so. Tortillas. It's the way you make tortillas. Then you mix the batter, mucho, mucho. And after that, it's a very simple matter. Start to pat and be sure that you make it mucho flatter. Pat the batter, make it flatter, muy flatter, mucho flatter. Make it flatter, make it flatter, make it flatter, make it flatter, make it flatter. It's a very simple matter. It's the fact that you make tortillas flatter. No, no. If I give you a segundo, it will make you too rotundo. The tortillas had made Sancho thirsty, but getting a drink meant another perilous invasion of goose country. This time, the water trough seemed to be deserted. Then he saw he had been ambushed. a matter of time and he's drinking for the least amount of pecking. From long experience, he'd got to be pretty good at it. Much too good to sue that curse. Get out of there! was Ed's biggest headache. Sancho wasn't exactly the cure. He was drinking the ranch dry. Still, he was Maria's pet, and there wasn't much chance she'd ever sell him for beef. Yep, Sancho was getting to be a real problem. But Ed walked on eggs whenever he discussed him with Maria. At least you gotta agree that he eats too much. Same. And he drinks more water than a herd of buffalo. We got so darn little water that the ducks forgot how to swim. It's true. Perhaps, perhaps we should get rid of Sancho. You mean it? Manana. Manana. I knew it. All right, honey. Come on, let's go set a spell. Now, everybody knows that a longhorn is born for trouble. And it was on this same evening that Sancho set out to claim his birthright. He started out by looking for a good night snack, corn in some form or another. There was corn in there, all right but he couldn't get at it through the window. Well, now this was better. An open invitation to move right in and put on the feedback. Honey. Mm. Would you do just one thing for me? Of course, Eduardo, anything. 
Would you quit making a house pet out of that big dumb critter? Feeding him pepper, tortillas. You know that ain't right. But Eduardo, it's because of their dumbness that I do these things. My heart goes out for the brutos that cannot tell us what they want. They have no voice. No voice. But I mean, no tongue. Sancho was finding out that the corn crop wasn't easy to harvest. Sancho run plumb out of patience. Him. No, 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 Eduardo, you have taught him his lesson. He will not do it again. Of course he won't do it again. There ain't nothing left. Look at this. But we will fix it. Please, Eduardo, come and help me and everything will be just the same. There ain't nothing gonna be the same till we get rid of that big dumb ox. He will hear you. Maria, he ain't a human being. Bobcat or coat, maybe. I'll go see about it. <laughs> You might have shot Sancho. A mistake I aim the correct right name. No, 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 Eduardo. Don't you see? He has done you a favor. What? See? Now you can have the turkey dinner you wanted. Hmm. It's a steak dinner I've been looking forward to. trouble came to Sancho, it seemed like it always came in bunches, like a flock of buzzards. The very next day, for some bull-headed reason known only to himself, he suddenly decided this was the time to move into paradise. Since Maria wasn't speaking to him that morning, there was no one to stop him on his fateful journey. figured it would taste good, but this was delicious. Oh, <laughs> 
There will be no mule money. Looks like a herd of buffalo been playing squat tag. Maria, this ranch ain't big enough for us not steer to. That critter's got to go. Perhaps you're right, Agar. Perhaps you're right. Now, to tell the truth, even if Maria was about ready to sell Sancho, nobody'd buy it. This country was already cattle poor. Then one day, like a fresh breeze out of the north, prosperity came to West Texas. A U.S. government order for 7,000 head of beef to be delivered in Montana. So the local ranchers picked out a holding ground, began bringing in their cattle, and in a couple days, the trail herd was starting to shape up. For the Longhorns, this would be their last big round. The future belonged to the Herfords, like this bunch owned by a man named Shiner. Mr. Shiner had been elected trail boss for the cattle drive. When all the steers were on bed ground, a final cleanup began. Now this was called brush popping, and it's rough and risky too. For a wild stray longhorn is the toughest, meanest critter of all. Before these spooky onion-eyed strays could be put with the main herd, every one of them had to be head caught, heel caught, stretched out, and ear marked. Maria's heart was filled with trouble these days. Ed had signed on for the trail drive. The wages were good and they could sure use the money, but he'd be gone for almost a year. Maria would have to run the ranch all by herself. And so there was one decision she just had to make. When Mr. Shiner dropped by, she knew she had to make it now. Howdy, Ed. Mr. Shiner? Just passing by. Well, everything seems to be ready for tomorrow. Herd, trail hands, wagon. We'll be moving out bright and early. What's that? Buenos dias, Senor Shiner. Ma'am? Please, will you buy him? He's very tame. What you call a lead steer, no? A lead steer? Well, sure, Maria. I'll give you a beef price and ten dollars for him. Gracias. Now, honey. Eduardo, my mind is made up. It is true. Sancho is not good for anything. He drinks the water, eats my tacos, spoils my corn. He will always make trouble. And the money will buy my mule. Looks like you bought yourself a steer. I'll bring him in the morning. <laughs> 